for that. Tonight, news of a saddening nature from Migori. A man has escaped to Tanzania after chopping off his wife's hands following a domestic row. The man also stabbed the woman several times, leaving her for dead. And now Migori police are working with their counterparts in Tanzania to track the culprit down to face the law. She reveals in pain, albeit silently. Her demeanor says it all. 50-year-old Mary Riobamwita is now a statistic, the latest reported survivor of domestic violence. And as most such cases, this one also started with a domestic quarrel. With Mary now recuperating at the Ombo Mission Hospital in Migori, her eldest daughter says the family now has to contend with plans by the extended family to protect their kin. The couple's other children have fled the home in fear of attacks from their very own father, who is reported to have escaped to Tanzania. The man is said to have made a habit out of beating his wife, which only escalated to these levels during this incident. And now the family's fate hangs in the balance as the mother was the breadwinner. Yet another woman in August 2016, Jacqueline Mwende, faced a similar ordeal after her hands were chopped off by her husband during a domestic quarrel in Kadama village of Masi in Machakos County. Her husband, Stephen Gilandenge, attacked her for allegedly failing to conceive. He denied the claims. And only last week, 29-year-old Salome Kanini succumbed to the serious burns she suffered at the hands of her estranged husband, Stanley Nduwati, after an argument. According to the Gender Violence Recovery Center, 3,865 cases of gender-based violence were recorded last year alone, out of which 982 cases were recorded between October and December 2017. Ellen